Let me hit this. Let me do Bullman. It's showtime, baby. That's right. We're over here in Westchester, New York. I know it's a little far from where we're at, but guys, he finds us on YouTube. It works, guys. So I'm telling you guys, if you're gonna do any marketing, do it. But besides, that's not the point here today. Today we're working here doing a steam piping um, for this beautiful boiler. So what it is, is he's, as you guys can see, he's renovating the basement and he needs to move the pipes. So he found the video that we did about two and a half, three years ago, and now he called us and he wants to do the same thing in his home. So let me show you guys exactly what we're doing today. All right, guys, so I want to show you what's going on here. So you guys can see the guys behind me, they're extending the pipe. So basically what we're doing here is that he wants to renovate the basement and the steam pipes are in the way. In case you didn't know, you cannot just put piping however you want, especially with steam. You have to have a pitch because you have condensation and that's going back to the boiler. So what we're doing here is basically going around the perimeter. So before, he could come about this far. Now, we're going to extend it and go as far as we can along the wall. So let me show you, it goes this way, this way, this way over here and it holds throughout the whole perimeter of the basement. So guys, before it was more or less about two feet out, we want to get as close as possible. We cannot get it too close, but we need some space to actually tie in what we call the return. But the reason why we want to do it this way is because number one, we cannot change the height of the, of the piping because we're going to change the pitch. So it has to stay the same. The only thing we can do is push it back as far as we can and he can actually box this in. So he now he has a lot more height room for anybody. Because hey, I'm 5'7", we're talking about maybe about six feet. So it's not much. And we, we have to consider and factor in sheetrock, um, any, any, anything else that's gonna be in the ceiling. I'm not exactly sure what he's gonna do. So what I'm trying to say is guys, whenever you're doing a steam system, you gotta be very, very careful how you pipe in the steam system. You remember, you need a downward pitch. So we're just going around the perimeter Get it close as possible to the wall and tie it to the returns. So guys, you can check out this video. I'm gonna show you what it is. And you can also check out an old video of ours and it shows you what it is to do steam piping. So he found us another video. And if you can see that video in this video and you can see what the process is. Guys, it's not rocket science. However, you need to understand how steam operates and how steam works. If you have any questions, call Louis the Boilerman. Let's get started with the video right now. Weba.
right, guys, I want to show you guys, and I want to tell you guys that cannot infest. You got, you guys got to pay attention to this detail. So we're working on a steam system. Remember, guys, this is your steam supply, and you got to take off or steam rise, whatever you guys want to call. So remember, this is a one pipe system. Steam goes up, gets cold, condensates, comes right back to your steam riser or your supply piping, and it goes downstream all the way down and returns right back to the boiler, which is your return. On the other end, they have one, two, three drip legs for your condensation, because sometimes if it's a longer run, sometimes water gets trapped in there, so you have to put some drip legs to remove the water, otherwise you're gonna get banging. But on this particular job, I wanna show you guys is very simply, guys, this right here is a high point. So remember when I told you, you get down pitch, this has to be at least an eighth or quarter of an inch down pitch. Over here, just it's just being strapped just for, you know, to support for the meantime where they actually go in the piping work. But you have to have at least a quarter of an inch down pitch on the perimeter of the basement. Otherwise, you're going to get back pitch or you're going to get water backed up and it's going to be trapped in it and you're going to get banging. So it's very, very important. This is old school, guys. Nobody does steam systems anymore. Everything is either hydronics or um, hot air system. So when you're paying attention to, um, I would say, when you're doing steam systems, pay attention to these things because they play a big factor. There's actually an author I follow, his name is Dan Hornhead. The, 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 what is it, the, the Lost Art of Steam. Read that book, I would encourage you guys to read it. You will have a great understanding how steam systems work. This is a one pipe system. So guys, I'm gonna show you the process and then I'm gonna show you what it is at the end. It is gonna make a lot of sense, guys. So stay tuned, Webby.
we're about to wrap it up, guys. We put a long, honest day, hard work here. I'm really very proud of the guys. Um, I'm proud of my team, so the guys did an excellent job. And let me tell you something, they put in the work hustle, and yeah, you know what I mean? I was here with them. It is my birthday, but it's okay. You know, I had a good time when I was just hanging out, just bullshitting, and just another day at work. But nevertheless, I want to talk about the piping, the steam piping. I hope you enjoy the video, see what's involved. So basically, he wants to renovate his basement and he wants to move his steam pipes, and sometimes people can't do it or just don't know how to do it. Well, you got the man right over here. You call up this handsome son of a bitch, Louis the Boilerman, where? 516 377 5200. And also, most importantly, guys, subscribe, 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 and don't forget to smash that bell button, leave a comment below. Until next time, weba! <laughs> guys, remember when I told you about YouTube, about marketing every time? It fucking works! <laughs> you're not gonna have, have that man right next to me. He's gonna testify. He's gonna tell you. Don't you're not gonna hear from me. You're gonna hear from the man himself. So, Mr. Fisher, first I want to say thank you. Thank, thank you for the you, opportunity. Yeah. And tell the world now you're on YouTube now. In the world, the, the universe of YouTube. Now. So I want to tell everybody basically, and I want to hear from you, from your mouth how you how you felt uh, as far as, as dealing with me. But also most importantly, how did you find me? And how did YouTube? Connected us, you know. Explain your yeah. journey. We're, we're so I, I the water man. So I was looking to move my, my pipes were too low, and I was looking to move them up a little because I was renovating my basement. So I find your video on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you a call. You called me right back, right? And so you came out. You looked at the job. You gave me an estimate of what it's going to cost. And let me tell you, this came out absolutely. Uh. Excellent. Oh, man. <laughs> it's my, it's, 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 I don't know if it's coincidence. It's my, my, my birthday is hitting my heart right now. No. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> actually, actually, it came out better than I thought. I, I mean, this, this, this is really good work. I'm very happy. As you can see, the pipes are a little lower. It looks exactly has, has the, cut, the right pitch, but it's excellent. Much better than I thought. I appreciate so, it. So thank you. Ah, no for problem. Job. And well, also, so, so shout out to the guys. Yes. You know, I can't take all the all the credit. Yeah. It's really my team behind me. Yeah. Moises, Clemente, Carlos, and all the Carlos right behind the camera. Yeah. Everybody takes uh, credit because, you know what, I cannot do this by myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? As much as I like to take all the credit, yeah. but I can't. You know what I mean? The right thing to do is give credit to everybody because it is a team effort. And I want to say thank you to them because that means a lot to me. You know, it's a long day. It's a crazy, shitty weather. Yeah. Deal with some obstacles. It was just one of those days, but we got it done. And you know, it's a little late today, but what I what, what I like is to earn that smile. That's the smile that oh, I like. Uh, th th this, is, this is perfect. Exactly what I, I thought it would be. I appreciate it. And a real quick <laughs> question. How, how do you feel like your experience with YouTube when you found me? Like, would you find somebody else? It's not going to be like a plumber, an yeah. HVAC guy. Do you feel that YouTube could connect you to maybe a possibly a, a carpenter or a welder or a car mechanic of any kind? Do you feel that, that, that that YouTube will help you. Can it be an asset in your life? Yeah, YouTube, I usually go to YouTube to look at how to do things. So, you know, sometimes they have different companies kind of advertise their right. work. But honestly, I don't see a lot of people advertise on YouTube. Right. So maybe this could have be a forum for, you know, contractors such as yourself to, to showcase their work and what they could do. But let me tell you, this is this I'm very happy. Ah, no, I mean, you know, you're making me smile. I'm making a little kid right now. But you know, and one last and one last question. Yeah. When you when you saw my channel or you saw my video, what was it about me that stuck out if you don't mind me asking? Your energy. My energy? <laughs> oh yes. man. Your energy and I saw the guys, I saw actually samples of the work that guys actually working and you were very excited and very committed oh, to what you were doing. Week. So that's what attracted me to you right I, away. I appreciate it. <laughs> so guys, listen, you hear from the man himself. It's a, a lifestyle. I can't make this up. I can't, I can't you take AI and make this guy. Listen, YouTube works. And I don't want to say just yes. talk about just specifically YouTube, meaning the power of marketing and advertising. Just in case you don't know, Mr. Fisher, I'm opening a digital company to yeah. help other contractors, it doesn't matter if you're a plumber, HVC guy, could be a carpenter, well, whomever, I want to concentrate on the needs of construction and help other guys. I see guys need help. They're great at their craft, they're not good at advertising. So I tell them, listen, you got to put yourself out there and show the world yeah. what you're capable of doing. I, I like, at least for me, I want to show the whole world, that's right, from here to China, to show my art. You know what? Maybe not everybody 
you know, can do what I do or I can't do it, but I know I'm good at it, I enjoy it, and I take very big pride, not only in my work, in my art, but also in my team, and what, you know, I'm basically at work that I think, because I feel like in, in the work industry, specifically in the, in the construction industry, we're losing that, we're losing pride. And you know what, it shouldn't be like that. You should take pride in what you do, and specifically pride, and if you're in the construction industry, in the construction world, take pride in your work. It makes a difference, and you're gonna earn a beautiful smile like my man over here. That's the excitement of life. I appreciate it. I'm gonna tell you. We're gonna close out the show. One, two, three, weba. One, One two, two, three, weba! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.